Hey, what's up? I'm Liz, the Split City DIY. About a month ago, I let you all know that I wrote a book on the Tinker board. Still can't get over how many words there are. Uh, but I wanted to talk about a project from the book because there are five projects in here that you can make following along uh, and the code and everything and schematics, if applicable, are available. So I want to talk about my favorite project from the book and I think it does a good job of kind of hitting all the main features of the Tinker board. It uses the GPIO pins, it uses Python, it's utilizing the internet connectivity and all the fun things you can do uh, when you're doing a project with a single board computer that's running Linux. And that project is an e-ink weather display. So you have your Tinker board, of course, and then this e-ink uh, breakout board. And this board is by uh, WaveShare, and it sits right on top of the GPIO pins, um, no issue. I'm using a little bit of a riser just so it's not conflicting with the heat sink. Uh, and the reason why I used this e-ink uh, display uh, is that it was actually, the libraries for it were ported by the Tinker board team, so that it works with the Tinker board with those code files right out of the box. You don't have to tweak anything or work on anything to make sure it's compatible. So, and I wanted to do that so that you could get the book, follow along with the projects, pick up this, and you could follow right along and everything would just work. So the code behind here that's getting this weather data is using uh, the Python Open Weather Map API. Uh, and basically it has so many options for pulling down weather data in real time. It's all open source. Um, you can basically do 90% of what the API offers with the free license. Uh, and it's just really easy to use. And I was really glad to be able to use that uh, with Python for this display. So you can see I also have the date and time on here as well. I go through in the book how to write your code for that. So it's gathering all of this in real time. Basically, it's checking if there's any change to the temperature, uh, the weather conditions. Today, there's snow. Very exciting. Uh, and uh, the time and everything. So it's constantly updating. The other fun thing about this project is that basically, as soon as the Tinker board receives power, uh, it waits for an internet connection, either through wired or Wi-Fi. And as soon as it receives that internet connection, it it launches the Python scripts that initialize the e ink display and it instantly displays the all the weather data. And because it launches on its own, you can run this as headless where you wouldn't have to have it connected to a monitor or anything like that. You would just need the power connection, which makes it a really nice and neat compact project. And the way that the Python script is written, you can edit it so that if you wanted something else displayed in here, let's say you actually wanted to know like the humidity percentage or you actually you want your temperature in Celsius, not Fahrenheit, or maybe you live somewhere where the date isn't written like this, basically anywhere but America, um, you can totally do that. You can edit it. You can also change up how the display appears on the e-ink display. Maybe you don't want it like a grid like this. Maybe you want it to be in a different orientation. And I go through how all of that works in the project guide as well. It's a little bit more of an advanced project, but if you just kind of break it up into pieces, then it's definitely doable. And after that, you definitely have a practical real world project uh, that is useful. And you also learned a lot about Python and the GPIO pins and how Linux works in general as well. All the kind of deeper file systems on Linux and everything. That's why this is my favorite project in the book. If you are interested in making this project, you can follow along in the book, a practical project from Practical Tinkerboard. But that's going to do it for this video. I'll have links down in the description for everything I talked about, including this e-ink display that does work out of the box uh, with Tinkerboard using those libraries that were ported by the Tinkerboard team, and I'll have a link to those as well. If you like this video, toss me a thumbs up, leave any questions or comments down below. Thank you for watching. Consider subscribing for more content like this, and until next time, this has been Blitz City DIY.